Tokyo Revenger Season 2 is coming out in like a week or so, but I haven't even started Season 1. We need another season, a uh, series of anime to start reacting to. This is something that you guys also voted on the poll along with Bofri. I hope the performance is okay. You know, it's the YouTube algo stuff, but if it does well, we'll continue reacting. Let's watch Tokyo Revengers. So I have no clue what this show is about. It looks some kind of battle shonen kind of anime. Yeah, this place looks a lot like my apartment with all these garbage shit all around. Like, you can kind of see... It looks kind of like an empty apartment. It is an empty apartment for what I show, but... There's some garbage over that you don't want to know about, man. So... Got a bunch of porno mags, gonna take out food, garbage everywhere. Yep, yep, that's me. Am I supposed to know that name? Hey, man. Bro, I'm gonna wipe your fingers on your ass. My girlfriend's dead. This is our part-time job? He works out like a blockbuster? Man... These things doesn't really exist anymore. Like, DVD shops, like, they're a thing of the past. Everything is just online. So I guess this, you know... This is a long time ago. It's not really modern. Now the kids are gonna shit on us. Oh, no! <laughs> He's not even that old of a guy! <laughs> Where... <laughs> are we actually getting bullied by kids? Bro, what? What the fuck? Okay, no, that's actual criminal. You can't do shit like that, and then now we get blamed for it. It's like a Yakuza's car. Look at it. I don't know. But... Yo, these kids are shitty. This guy's life is a fucking mess. I mean, it's not really much different from my life, I guess. It's just, you know, he rents an apartment, he has a job, and he has a pretty mediocre just life, and he's just starting to realize, shit, what am I doing with my life? Wait, train tracks? He's gonna fall into the train tracks. And he's still a damn virgin, of course, like all fucking showing main characters. You know why? To be relatable to the audience, you virgins. I'm, sh I'm kidding. I'm sure you guys are all giga chads. He's about to get pushed in, right? No, he's about to die on the train tracks. Yeah! But who? Why? So this is reincarnated kind of show. In the same world, though? We're about to get isekai unless it's in the same world. Show us the crash, man. All right, flashback time. Second year in middle school is when I peaked. Okay, that's that's the problem. That's a fucking pro. Oh, he was in a gang. Well, okay. <laughs> but peaking in the second year of middle school, what is that? Like grade uh, seven? Grade eight? Are we still in the flashback? What's going on? Is this him? Wait. <laughs> He had that bleach blonde hair? Because he was back in the gang, right? Yeah. Usually you're supposed to have like a pompadour if you're in like a biker gang. Um, this is almost like he traveled back in time. Why am I getting that feeling like he's traveling back in time? Look in the mirror and he's gonna be like, Huh? That's me of the past! What's going on? So, she got hit by the train and now he's reliving his middle school life. Thank you, train, I guess? Yeah, this is your peak, dude. <laughs> Super peak. He's loaded, dude. He's got a flip phone and a 500 yen coin. So he thought that life was flashing between his eyes, but no. He actually time traveled after getting hit by a train, I guess. How? I don't fucking know. It's anime, man. So this is like a delinquent type of show with some time travel involved? Okay, interesting. That's a dumbass reason. They think we're pussy, so we gotta fight. <laughs> that's exactly, that's such a dumb reason. But I guess in your, when you're in middle school, it doesn't, like, this logic makes sense. But if these are all events that did happen in the past, and he can recollect those memories and predict it, I guess? Leave him alone, man, come on. <laughs> this doesn't feel right. They look like innocent bystanders. <laughs> like 10 years. Yeah, honestly, um, yeah. Fighting is... Don't fight. Just walk away. Run away. It's better than fighting and then accidentally hitting your head on the fucking ground or pavement and then becoming paralyzed for the rest of your life. Like, no, it's, it's not worth it. But in anime shows, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Oh, the memories don't look good. Let's get the fuck out. Let's get the fuck out. This is when you leave. <laughs> but then they'll think we're wusses. That's what we're trying to fight them, right? Wait, this voice is really deep. What? Why these voices in their third years? <laughs> is this still middle school though? Yo, middle school third year is what? Grade 9? Just stick it out of your mouth. <laughs> Bro, look at these like middle-aged men. In retrospect, they're grade 9. What's grade 9 in actual, like, actual age? What is that? Like, um... Oh, fuck. I don't, I don't even know. Like... 14? 
15? What kind of fucking 14 or 15 year olds look like? I mean, like this. What? I see these motherfuckers, dude. They're so old. They're like 30 year old men, dude. Talk to me to do something. You're our leader. Well, actually, he's not your leader. Okay. So the Masaru that we were depending on is their bitch. Gotcha. And then we got there. Then we got fucked up. This is a. Ah, uh, this is a lesson. A lesson of don't be in gangs. What are you doing? Fucking just re live your normal, regular life. It's no, it's not worth fighting. Like nothing is worth fighting for, unless you're trying to protect people. We're not protecting shit. We're just, and now we're fucking begging on. <laughs> we are spineless little dweebs, honestly. He's not wrong. And I, I honestly, these dudes too. Oh. Do we join their gang somehow? Is this initiation? What do they mean by that? You are little warriors, grunts? Uh, yeah, I think they got a taste of what actual delinquent life is like. It's not so fun, huh? Like, life is real. Like, what did you think would happen? They're lucky they got off the... They got lucky they got off this easy, to be honest. Because it could have been way worse. If they actually brought weapons and shit. <laughs> so they just became their bitch for the rest of their fucking middle school lives? Oh, we just left the middle school. Oh, he just left. Yeah, honestly, that is probably a better life. But nothing really went well for him afterwards, I guess. Kind of looks like Zenitsu here. And then he cut his hair off. Stop apologizing and learn from it. Move forward. Come on, dude. You're supposed to be the main character of this show. Show me something compelling. Show me that motivation, that resolve. Where is that main character, like, willpower? This is your second chance to fix everything. Fix it. So instead of moving, maybe he'll stick, stick around and fix everything? Oh, or X. Or actually their girlfriend right now. Oh, that's the gang that we were watching! It's a gang actually over 12 years. They actually kept growing and it happened to the news incident when we were just watching the opening scene. No, it has everything to do with you right now. You can fix this right now. Think about your super popular girlfriend that we have no clue who she is, but, you know, it's important to her. I mean, to him. Talking to me to do something. Aren't you all tired of being little bitches? Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, where are we going? <laughs> if her parents open and then he's all beaten up, it's not a very good look. <laughs> you know, it's very disappointing. Like, oh, this is the guy you're dating? Like, what the fuck? Hello. What does she look like? Okay, show me the eyes. Okay. So she's supposed to be like super popular. She seems sincerely caring though for him. Is he gonna start crying? Oh, dude. I mean, it makes sense. This is like his old girlfriend that he's meeting again. And she's gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you walked to my. You just show up out of nowhere at nighttime, you're all beaten, then we started crying up. <laughs> yeah. We got hit by a train, then we time traveled. Then we got beat the fuck up because we're little bitches. Oh, but we got a girlfriend to embrace us. Isn't this nice? She's pretty straightforward. She's pretty alpha. Hmm. She's not like pushover, huh? She's more like pushy and straightforward than Takemichi. Is this another gang? They're bullying him. Go protect the kid. <laughs> Stop getting bullied. I'm trying to have a moment here. <laughs> Go protect the kid. Come on. Or maybe he's going to start bullying them with them together. Oh no. He's going in. Is he any particularly good at fighting? Well, yeah, he kind of sucker punched them. Well, let's see what he has. Oh, bottle. Where did that come from? <laughs> okay. This is more delinquent like. Where was this in the fight before? Fight back. Says you. What? <laughs> he's projecting so. Oh, he's actually taking notes. What the fuck? He's actually taking notes. But, like, you're saying all the shit that you should have done in the fight before when you got fucked up. Oh, it's girlfriend. Brother. Oh, shit. Hey. What's up? I'm your future potential brother-in-law? <laughs> Out of nowhere, huh? <laughs> the fuck you mean? Do you know my sister? 
No, he's probably like, what are you talking about? Wait, you're fucking my sister? What's going on here? Huh? You will die. Oh, right, your sister's gonna die. I'm not sure if he died too, though. All of a sudden, this dude time is telling me he's time traveling now that he knows my sister, and now he's like, you're gonna die in 12 years. Imagine you're this kid. What the fuck is going on? This is ridiculous. Imagine you're this kid right now. This random dude just tells you all this shit. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, kid. Now join the delinquent and save your protector sister with me? I don't know. <laughs> this kid's taking it so seriously. You're like, yes, I will. I'd be like, the fuck are you talking about, crazy man? Oh. That effect again. That shocking effect again. It happened before too. In the train when he woke. Now we're back to real life. I mean, that was real life, but you know, it's, this is after he got hit by the train. How did he survive? The train stopped in time? Did the events of time change stuff? We told him to protect, right? I, I don't know about that. I, I, how could you survive that? But we told the brother to protect her. Is she... Did timeline change? Are they still alive? Is this the brother? Wait for it? The back of his head kind of looks the same. It's him, right? It's the brother. What's going on? So he's still alive. The timeline has changed. You from the future, you protected me in the past. Yeah. Okay, so the timeline has definitely changed. What else has changed? And did you protect her? Yes, she's alive. Never mind, that's it. She's dead. She's dead? The fuck? Okay, we didn't really... But maybe we can go back in time again and change it again. I don't know. I'm so confused. Time travel again? Able to save my sister, meaning we're gonna time travel again. This is... I don't... I have no idea what's going on anymore. The first episode, I'm pretty confused. I thought it was gonna be like an isekai at first, hit by a train. No, and then we time travel. I'm like, okay, I guess this is a second chance to relive our life and fix everything. And then Psych, we're actually back in real life. And, oh, we actually altered the timeline. And you did, you know, the brother did save himself, but the sister is still dead. But we can actually still save her, meaning we have to time travel again. So I'm like, uh, uh, okay, this is the time travel type of anime. We're going to do it again. I'm kind of lost with the plot, but we'll see where it goes from here on, I guess. But hey, if you stick around the song and if you enjoyed my reaction, consider subscribing and checking out the other videos and posts to my channel for even more content. And until next time, guys, take care.